Hey Year 3, hope you've all had a lovely Easter. This week your home learning is all about multiplication. Now on the homework sheet we've suggested websites such as Rockstars and Hit the Button to practice your quick fire multiplication questions but this is going to show you now a recap of the written method that we've taught you in class. Now before I get on to that I'm going to remind you of how to make numbers 10 times bigger. Now the first thing we do when we make a number 10 times bigger is we use our hats. Now if we want to make the number 6 10 times bigger we put the number 6 in the ones column. Then to make it 10 times bigger we move it one place to the left and then to stop it from slipping back into the ones column we put in a placeholder. So 6 made 10 times bigger is 60. Now let's have a look at a two digit number, 32. To make 32 10 times bigger, we move the digits again one place to the left, keeping them both together because they are a pair. Now to stop them from sliding back down into the ones, we add a placeholder. So 32 made 10 times bigger is 320. Now, on to that formal method. My first number sentence is 37 multiplied by 4. First step is to put down my hats and my symbol. Now I can bring down the numbers. 37 times by 4. Four lots of 37. Four groups of 37. Now I can draw in my line. Similar to addition, we work down the page and we use brackets. Some of us like to think of this four as our star number, as our golden number. It's really, um, really useful to think about it because we need to use it a lot when we are doing multiplication. So I bring down that four. And um, as we always start with the ones column, it's four groups of seven, four times seven, which gives me the answer 28. Now I need to do my tens column. And again, I bring down that four. I now want to find out four lots of 30. Now we know that three is worth 30 because it's in the tens column. Now to make this a bit easier for me, I could do... 4 times 3. Now 4 times 3 gives me the answer of 12. But it's actually asking for 4 times 30. So I need to make that 12 10 times bigger. So let's bring it up to the top. Put in my 12. Now to make it 10 times bigger, remember we move all the digits one place to the left. Then we add in our placeholder. So 12 made 10 times bigger is 120. So 4 times 30 is 120. Now I can add up my columns. 8 add 0 is 8. 20 add 20. 2 add 2 is 4. 100, 148. So 37 times 4 is 148. Let's have a go at another one. This time my number sentence is going to be 79 times 8. Now on the home learning sheet we did say challenge yourself to some trickier numbers. Again, if you struggle with your 8 times table, Take down the side of your page and write out your 8 times table before you start solving it because that will help you and it's good practice of your 8 times table. And I'm going to put in my hats, hundreds, tens, ones, my multiplication symbol and now my numbers, 79 multiplied by 8. That 8 is my golden number, my star number. Draw in my lines, open my brackets. Bring down that star number. 
starting with my ones column, eight times nine. Now, some of you might know a trick for the nine times table and you can work that out. If not, you could write out your eight times table down the side of the page to help you. Some of you might already know your eight and your nine times table. So eight times nine is 72. Now I need to do my tens column. So again, I bring down that ever important star golden number. This time it's eight times 70. I'm going to try and do it my easy way. I'm going to do eight times seven instead. Now eight times seven is going to give me 56, but I know it's eight times 70. So I need to make that 56 10 times bigger. I can use that, my hats to help me. 56, move all the digits one place to the left. Five, six, they stick together. Put in my placeholder to stop the numbers, digits sliding back down. So eight times 70 is 560. Now this leaves me with the final job of adding up my columns. Two add zero is two. 7 add 6, 70 add 60 is 130. Ah, I can't have 100 in the tens column. So I need to carry that 100 across down to the bottom here, into the hundreds column. So it was 130, the 30 is in my tens column, so I need to put my 3 in my tens column. Now I move over to my hundreds column, I've got nothing here and I've got 500. But I've got this 100 down the bottom that I can't forget. So 500 at the 100 gives me 600. And I'm going to cross that off so I know that I've added it on. So the answer to 79 times 8 is 632. Now this one was a real tricky challenge. So year three, have a go. Challenge yourself to those tricky ones, but use all the top tips you know that we've spoke about in class that I've mentioned here to help you. Another really good thing to do at home is on your home learning sheet is to have a go at teaching an adult our method that we use in class. Good luck with your homework. 